Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode. Before we start today's episode, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and also to turn on your notifications so you're notified when we come out with a new video. In this episode, we are going to focus on, we are actually playing on, with the royal family of Willow Creek, which is new. Um, so we're going to play from Prince Edmund's point of view. So he was actually just talking to the king and queen of Windenburg, which is Princess Cora's parents. He's just trying to get to know them better, trying to butter them up a bit before he proposes to Princess Cora because it is time for sure. Princess Cora is just amazing and I love her and he loves her and she's just jamming out in the library in her athletic wear right now. Um, so we are going to just ask her out on a date I'm actually going to stay near the uh, the Windenburg Palace because um, her father, the king, is he might pass away soon. I just kind of want to be there when it happens just because I think that's going to be really sad and I want Princess Cora to be around when it happens too. So she's going to stay close to her father. So even if he does ask her out on a date, she's just going to be like, okay, but... I can't stay too far from the palace because my father is, he's not ill, obviously, but just because she knows that his time is about to come, so, or come to an end. So, uh, we are going to ask her on a date, but we're going to stay here at the palace. I think we can do that. I'm not 100% sure, but I think if we're already here, can we stay here? Yes, we can. All right, so we're going to have the date at the palace, um, and I think that'll be fine. I mean, there's plenty to do here. So, and I mean, obviously our date is already on the bronze level anyway, so that's fine. So we're just going to, um, can I have her change outfits? Can they like try on outfits together? Oh man, Prince has been sick right now. All right, well then I need to fix that. So um, we're gonna change the outfit of, or um, can we try on outfits together? Try on new outfit. Um, let's do, Formal outfits together. That'll be fun. Okay, so I need to give him some medicine because he is not well. So let's see if his parents have any medicine. So I'm just going to bring them here because I need to see if they actually have any. I don't think so though. Um, King Derek. King Derek doesn't have any either. All right. So it looks like we're gonna have to order some medicine, which is fine. So. We'll just try on some formal outfits together. I don't know if they stay in the outfit after they've tried it on, but I guess we'll see. So then uh, they'll try on outfits and then we will order some medicine because he's got spots all over him, which is not a great thing. Why can't we order medicine? What? Is this because it's not our computer? Why can I not order medicine? This is weird. Um, can they order medicine? Why? Uh, okay, order. No? This is weird. This is strange. All right. Prince Edmund, I'm sorry, but we do not have any medicine for you. This is so weird. Why can't... Is it because it's not their house? I'm so confused. Can I order medicine on our cell phone? Um, ooh, look at that. That looks nice. I haven't seen that one yet. Okay. Um, okay, why don't we yeah, purchase gifts? Um, nope. No, we cannot. All right. It's okay. Hopefully it'll go away soon. Hopefully. I don't even know if there's like a time on this or if, oh, gross. He's got, it feels like he's got bugs on him. Okay. Only for an hour. So hopefully it'll go away soon. Um, okay, so they're trying on outfits together. Princess Cora needs to actually try on an outfit, though. Um, and we want her to wear something nice and pretty and not just her athletic wear right now. Uh, and then we need to flirt with her, so I'll kiss her on the cheek. Uh, it, looks like, uh, it looks like her dad is coming in. Why can't I try for a baby in the closet? Oh, okay, because her household is too big. Um, okay, so, and then we'll hold hands with her. Oh my gosh, no! <gasps> oh no! <gasps> the queen just died! She just froze to death! Oh my gosh! <gasps> That's awful! Oh my gosh, is anyone else outside right now? We need to bring everyone else inside. Oh my gosh! 
Queen Isabel just died. And now it's winter. Oh no. Uh oh. Oh my gosh, that's so sad. I thought King George was going to be the one to pass away first, but I guess not. Oh, I'm sad, guys. I didn't think she was going to pass away. I should have watched closer. I didn't think she would pass away that quickly. That's what I don't like about the Seasons game. And there's the Grim Reaper. It's going to make me sad to watch, so I'm just going to like just not look. Um, That's what makes me sad about, or that's what I don't like about the Seasons pack, is like how quickly they die from the heat or from the cold. It's it, It's ridiculous, honestly. I don't know why she was just standing out there anyway. Can I change the current weather to, to heat wave, hot, blizzard? Uh, okay, yeah, it's already cold. All right, well, we're going to need to have a funeral soon for sure. Oh, and the king's coming down. He's going to be so upset. Oh, no, nope, he's not even coming. Nope, never mind. He swerved. He was like, nope, I don't know what's happening. This is so upsetting. Where's the Grim Reaper? I don't want to sit and watch this. Can you do your thing already? Can we, oh, why weren't we back? Wait. What? One does not plead with... Why? What? One does not plead with death before the... Well, then what's the point? Why am I not allowed to plead for his death? Okay, well, this is an awful date. The girl's mother just died. Should I still propose? She doesn't... She has no idea what's happening right now. Um, why don't we just, why don't I take her somewhere else? Do I still propose to her if her mother just died? Well, she's going to be too sad if I propose to her later, so I think I have to do it now. So why don't we go out here and hopefully wear some warm clothes? I think we will. I think she'll wear warm clothes if we go out there. Oh, she has no idea what's happening right now. This is so upsetting. All right, did they already? Oh, and now the king knows. And Princess Alice is out there too. Oh, the king is so upset, guys. I mean, they're all upset, obviously, but this is so sad. That's his wife. That's his queen. The queen, Why? what is the Grim Reaper doing? Why is he just sitting there? Can he not? This is just not great to see. All right, is Princess Cora coming though, or did she see what happened? No, she's coming. Oh, and then Princess Anna seeing what all the commotion's about, too. Oh, man, guys, this is sad. All right, well, we're going to propose to her now um, because I think that it, when she gets sad and finds out about her mother, it's going to be really hard to propose to her. Um, so we'll just do that now. So um, this, I mean, this is like a favorite spot, kind of their backyard. Um, so I'm going to propose to her before the day is over. Um, do we, why don't we just do that now we're not in like a super flirty mood or anything um but that's okay so i'll just propose to her now hopefully she says yes because even if we're not in a flirty mood i don't know how um how that would work exactly so we will just have to see oh all right she did say yes oh she did oh her winter outfit is so cute too i'm glad they're warm oh they're really cute all right well, this is, it's fine. They are definitely, um, they're going to find out about her mom very soon, though. They're so happy, though. It's hard. This is hard. Okay. They're so cute. They, I, I'm glad she ended up with, um, sorry, guys. I like taking a picture. That's why I'm, like, just freezing them. Um, but, so, they, uh, Princess Cora's ex-boyfriend, Sir Javin, ended up, marrying Judith Ward, which is the lady that he was having uh, an affair or cheating on her with. Um, so he ended up marrying her and moving to, uh, what's it called? The D Del Soleil Valley. I think um, it's probably something else, but that's what I remember. Um, so he ended up marrying her and she's pregnant and they, he moved there and gave up his title as the, I think it was the Duke. Um, so now his sister's going to take the title. So that's interesting. Um, and that's definitely a lot of drama. There was a lot of drama with him. Princess Cora didn't need that. She deserved way better.
So, I'm saying it's not a successful date, but he proposed to her, so it was a successful date, because now they're engaged. Um, and they can't just, like, announce it, because now the queen is, is she still, did the Grim Reaper take care of this already? Okay, he did. Oh, man. Okay, well, she passed away. I'm going to have to, I'm just going to keep this here for now, um, and then we're going to have to make room for her, too. And then we're going to have to have a funeral soon, unfortunately. Where the heck did that go? Oh, okay. Oh, okay. It's there. I don't know what happened. I was like, oh my gosh, please don't be lost because I keep like all of their urns. Um, so I didn't want it to have gone away. But yeah, we're gonna have to move them over here soon. I'm gonna need a bigger wall. We're gonna have to expand this side of the building of the castle when um, we have more, more, uh, I guess when we go down the, what is it called? When we have more kids and then they pass away and then we're gonna need more room on this wall for all of the past rulers so it doesn't even look like princess Cora really knows yet um oh now she knows now now she's found out for sure if she sees the grim reaper there princess alice or princess anna doesn't seem very phased by this um she just kind of walked away so i don't know if she is phased by this um princess anna though she's going to be an adult fairly soon um, so we're going to have to catch up with her and kind of see what she ends up doing. She definitely wants to do the whole acting thing, um, so we'll ha just have to figure that out. But this is sad. This for sure is just like, I was not expecting this to happen at all. I was not expecting the queen to pass away. Um, I know the king is probably going to pass away soon, but he would be of old age. But she passed away because of the, oh my gosh, that paparazzi is so in her face. Do you see that? He was like up close to her face. I'm gonna tell this person to leave because seriously, get out of my fiance's face. Um, but yeah, what I was saying is the queen passed away of the freezing weather, which was not expected. So, oh man, guys, I was, I'm like kind of still shaking up a little bit. I was not expecting that at all. This is really sad. I was not, oh, uh, all right. Anyway, sorry, moving on. Um, but, so now they're, now they're engaged. Oh, okay, so now Prince Edmund and Princess Cora are engaged. So that means Princess Cora is going to be the queen of Willow Creek, and I'm so excited for her because I think she totally deserves to be a queen. Um, and then they can also maybe start having some babies soon after they get married. So they are actually going to have a wedding as opposed to Prince Jared and Nina who just eloped. So we're going to have a nice wedding for them um, and we're going to do that in Willow Creek. I'm going to find a good venue for us to have the wedding at. Um, and then we will have that probably, I'm thinking the next episode actually for that. Or maybe we'll focus on the babies that are supposed to be had in the next episode. And then I'll do a, a wedding one for, um, yeah, we'll do that. And then I'll do a wedding one for Princess Cora and for Nina, because I think they're going to have their babies around the same time. So I'm going to end this episode here. Um, I know this was a bit of a shock to have the queen pass away in this episode. was not expecting that. Um, but I hope you guys still enjoyed it and are rooting also for Princess Cora and Prince Edmund. Um, but don't forget, again, to subscribe, like, share, comment, any suggestions you have for the video. Um, and we will see you guys the next episode.